Welcome to the HSX Stellarator. Here at HSX, we work towards researching nuclear fusion power by learning about the physics of fusion. You may be wondering what HSX is. HSX stands for the Helically Symmetric Experiment. Specifically, HSX is the only quasi-symmetric stellarator in the world. Before we learn what that means, let's hear more about the basics. Now that we know what HSX stands for, what does it mean? My name is Grace Stanky, and I'm an undergraduate research assistant here at the HSX Stellarator. I'd like to answer these questions here today, and I'm excited to do so. The first one I'd like to answer is, what is a stellarator? A stellarator is a plasma device that relies primarily on external magnets to contain the plasma. Now the plasma within a stellarator can get to very high temperatures and cannot touch the walls. Because of this, we need to contain it in a magnetic cage. Now that magnetic cage is generated using these external magnets seen here in the orange color. Now those external magnets create twisted field lines that create a very unique shape for the plasma to be in. Now, our specific stellarator is about a medium-sized stellarator. Looking at the size of it, to give you an idea, it's four feet from the center to the center of the plasma. So from the center of the machine to the center of the plasma, it is about four feet, making our machine approximately 90 feet across in total diameter. Now you can find stellarators of all different shapes and sizes across the world. There's Wendell Stein 7X in Germany and the large helical device in Japan, just to name two of them. And we've got our very own HSX here in Wisconsin. There are many more stellarators out there and they're very exciting. Now that we know what a stellarator is, I'd like to tell you guys a little bit more about the vessel. But first I'd like to point it out visually so you guys can identify the size of it. As I mentioned earlier, these red coils are the magnets right here. Now underneath the magnets are the vessel right there. It's that shiny steel looking stuff. And as you can probably guess, our vessel is made out of steel. The vessel has the size to hold 15 and a half cubic feet of plasma. The plasma within the vessel can reach up to 10 million degrees Celsius and then some. So it's just a little bit hot. Now the magnets around the vessel have a radius of about one foot or 0 0.3 meters, give or take. And together, when they are all operating, and that goes for collectively all of them together, when all of the magnets are operating, the field strength is about one tesla, and they have a maximum of 1.25 tesla if you push them a little bit. That means it's 1,250 times stronger than your average fridge magnet, which is pretty crazy strong if you ask me. We now know what a stellarator is and what the vessel is, but how do we heat the plasma within the vessel to study fusion physics? The answer is totally simple an electron cyclotron resonance heating source. You got that? An easier name for it, for the machines that we like to specifically use, are gyrotrons. Now gyrotrons are a high power linear beam vacuum tube. So how that works is basically we have an electron beam that is emitted down in the oil tank, accelerated through a magnetic field. Uh, our new gyrotron that we have actually has a superconducting magnetic field. And it is then turned from just going straight up to emitting a little bit of helical movement like this, kind of spinning as it's going up. And that then emits an electromagnetic wave. That electromagnetic wave is then captured and reflected out the side into the plasma of the stellarator. That spent electron beam and what is left of it is then absorbed by an electron collector. Now, our gyrotrons here currently can emit about 27 gigahertz of radiation frequency and together they collectively have about 100 kilowatts of power. Now, that's about 1,660 light bulbs, which is quite a few, I'd say. Before running the machine, preparations must be done, such as cleaning the machine. To clean the machine, we use what is called a glow. A glow is a low temperature plasma that is generated in the vessel without a magnetic field. This causes tiny atoms to smash into the stainless steel walls and scrub them clean. While any noble gas can be used for the glow, we usually use helium as shown in the clips. COVID-19 hasn't stopped us from doing top of the line research. We limit the amount of people in the lab, require everyone to wear masks, and make sure to participate in safe social distancing along with many other guidelines.
Thanks for touring HSX virtually with us today. Contact us with any questions regarding our research, work, outreach, or anything else you can think of. We'll be here in Madison studying flows and electric fields and developing new and state-of-the-art diagnostics, all while waiting for you.